Hello guys, today I will show you how to fix the issue. PC doesn't currently meet Windows 11 system requirements. Open the virtual machine and go to settings. Set it to expert. Go to system and set the base memory to at least 4096 megabytes. Go to settings, go to expert and check your base memory minimum for 1096. Option to check the processor's minimum too. Check box enable Pi and X must be enabled. Go to storage and name make it SADA. Press Shift plus F1 OACMD command prompt window will open as administrator, and you need to type regedit. Go to HKEY underscore local underscore machine. Next go to system. And right click on setup. Create a new KEY. TYP Lob Config. Right click on lob config and create a DWORD 32 bit value. Rename bypass and check. Create a new key rename. Bypass RAM check. And the last one bypass secure boot check.
Make all value 1. When you see the message PC doesn't currently meet Windows 11 system requirements, it means that your PC doesn't meet one or more of the hardware or software criteria needed to run Windows 11. These requirements are more stringent than those for Windows 10. Here are the main reasons why this could happen. TPM 2.0 Trusted Platform Module Windows 11 requires TPM 2.0 for security. TPM is a hardware-based security feature that helps encrypt your data and prevent unauthorized access. If your PC doesn't have TPM 2.0, you'll need to enable it in the BIOS or upgrade your motherboard if it doesn't support TPM 2.0. Secure Boot Windows 11 requires Secure Boot, which helps protect your system from malware by ensuring that only trusted software can run during boot. You need to enable Secure Boot in your BIOS settings. RAM and storage. Windows 11 requires 4 gigabytes or more RAM and at least 60 for gigabytes of storage. If your PC has less RAM or storage, it will not meet the minimum requirements. Processor CPU. Windows 11 has specific CPU requirements. Your processor must be on the Windows 11 supported list, which includes newer Intel, AMD, and Qualcomm processors. For Intel, it generally requires at least an 8th generation or newer processor. For AMD, it needs at least a Ryzen 2000 series or newer processor. Next, I will show you the most important step you need to take, and the problem will be 100% solved asterisk asterisk. Enable the secure boot. And reset the keys. This is the most important step to solve the problem. However, there are more methods to fix this issue, and each of them plays its own role. Chipset Make ITICH9 Let's start the virtual machine, this time it will work 100%.
If you see something like this, go to the boot manager and select CD. Thank you for watching my video, I hope I was able to help. If something isn't clear, feel free to leave a comment below, and I will reply. Have a wonderful day and take care.